is going to be sort of a rant video, just kind of like, I don't know, my opinions on YouTube and um, just like the expectations I have sort of for my YouTube channel. I wanted to do this as a get ready with me, but I was like, what the heck? Like, I'm seeing some of the craziest stuff and I just kind of want to give my opinion on it without giving my opinion on it if that makes any sense but um I didn't really want to talk about it but I do because I mean they're such a big channel who's really paying me any attention I just I want to give my two cents I, I definitely feel like I need to give my two cents so you guys have probably been seeing this flying around. You know what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. First things first. Um, I have had people ask me where my boyfriend is and why he's never in videos. So, number one, I do plan on having him in videos. I just want to make sure it's done right. I feel like I see these awesome YouTubers who bring in their significant other or they start with their significant other and it um it starts off like great you know like it's positive it's love like you see the love and don't get me wrong like there are still some couples out here who I feel like as YouTubers I, I'm not gonna say they're like relationship goals but as YouTubers and, you know, as a couple and as YouTubers, I definitely look up to them. Um, a lot of these couples are married. Some of them are just in relationships. But I love how they, you know, they they share their world with YouTube, but they don't share their world with YouTube, if that makes any kind of sense to you guys. So I'm just going to throw out a few um, beautiful Drea, she is a vlogger. I would consider her like a family vlogger, kind of. Well, yeah, like she's like a family vlogger. Her husband's in vlogs, her baby's in vlogs, her baby is in vlogs. But she, I don't feel, I've never felt like she's given too much. You know, I feel like she gives what she wants. And I feel like she gives it tastefully, even if it's not the best news. You know, like she is a family vlogger and you can tell she's like committed to, um, you can tell she's like committed to sharing her life with YouTube, but I don't feel personally that she gets over committed and over committed to the point where it jeopardizes her relationship. Um, one of my all-time fav- dang, I don't even know who's my favorite, so I'm gonna just say both of them. Uh, Jamie and Nikki and the Daily Davisons. Those are both two couples that I look up to so much because they are pretty much like daily vloggers. Like, although Jamie and Nikki vlog only, I think they, they have two videos go up a week. To me, they're still considered daily vloggers. Like, I feel like a lot of their life is put out on YouTube. And then Daily Davidsons upload daily. So, they're daily vloggers. And I feel like, once again, a lot of their life is put out on YouTube. But it's, like, not too much, you know? And I don't feel like it ever jeopardizes their relationship. A huge example is, like... um, I remember there was like some random drama going on like around their wedding time but you never seen that go on YouTube you know like you never seen that drama play out on YouTube it was it was something on Insta it was petty whatever but my point is you never seen it play out on YouTube you never seen them make videos about it you never seen it play out in their relationship even if it did we don't know because they didn't put that out there um, uh, then with Jamie and Nikki, I just feel like they're awesome parents. Like, they share what they want to share. So, they did share, like, parts of their anniversary trip. But, once again, they're, like, daily vloggers. Like, that's expected. That's, it's still intimate because I don't even feel like they shared that much. Um, 
you know, like they didn't turn off the camera and say, oh, you know what happens next? Like, duh, they're a married couple on their anniversary trip. But if you guys see what I'm saying, like, I don't feel like they ever put too much out there, you know, even though they're daily vloggers. Another thing I like about these couples is that they don't do these jeopardizing pranks on each other. I cannot get with the pranks. Like, tell me I don't have a sense of humor. I don't care. But I don't want my boyfriend doing a breakup prank with me. Like, I don't want that. Like, I don't even want to feel what that'll feel like. I don't want him doing a cheating prank on me. I don't want him doing... I don't want him doing any type of prank that would jeopardize our relationship because I feel like some of these pranks I watch, I'm just like, first off, is this real? First off. And then second off, if it is real and if you really are pranking each other like this, to me, I just personally feel like you're really jeopardizing your relationship. Like, you're, you're inviting that in. That's like... That's like saying you want to have like an open, open relationship. You're inviting someone else into your relationship to, you know, possibly cause issues. So when you're doing these pranks, I feel like you're opening the door for these issues to come in. Like, oh, so, so that's what you would do if you cheated? That, you know, I feel like you're just kind of inviting that trouble into your relationship. And I mean, you know, like, do what you do. Like, I do not. I'm not judging anybody like who am I I don't even make money on YouTube but I'm not judging anybody but I just really wish people would kind of take a step back and not think about the money that's coming in so much that you forget about your relationship and what's really important um and yeah I just feel like when it comes to that um those pranks like I just kind of wish they wouldn't be so um, emotional, if that makes sense. Like, so, you know, like some of them, I'd be like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. You know, and like, there are some couples who I feel like they do them and they let them go. Um, DK4 Gang, DK Gang, DK4L, I think that's their name. Um, they're a cute little couple, so freaking adorable, and they do those pranks too, but I don't know, like, theirs are just a little different than, like, some of the other couples that I see that I'm just like, dang, man, like, why did you, why did y'all have to go so far? And then, like, the scary thing is with some of these pranks, like, you really see how that other person is. Either, okay, okay. And then I try to look at it like this. Either it's really good acting or this person may have a bit of an anger issue that you're starting to see when you're doing these pranks. So that's another thing I look at is I'm like, are you really mad or is this like really an act? So I don't know. Like, just know in the future there will be no breakup pranks between me and my boyfriend. No, I cheated on you with your friend pranks. No, I got caught doing this in the in our bed. None, none of that. You know, like none of that. Like, no. It's just I just I don't like that type of negative energy even being able to come into my relationship. Um. Which brings me to, I'm just going to touch on it just a little bit. Uh, these videos I've seen from a certain channel, Deep <laughs> Vacation. Um, Jesus. Um, I feel like, okay, first off, that channel is literally like bad reality TV. Like. I don't know about you guys, but I always felt really guilty watching Bad Girls Club. I didn't feel guilty watching Love & Hip Hop. I love Love & Hip Hop. I'll tell anybody. I don't feel guilty watching Housewives of Atlanta. I don't feel guilty watching Kardashians. But it's something about Bad Girls Club. But it's also a show that I'll click like, oh, I just want to see what's happening. Oh. I'll click it because I'm just, I'm that nosy. But I really don't want to click it. But, oh my gosh. And it's also like when you, have you guys ever stopped being friends with someone? Or like you're mad at someone and you really don't want to watch your Snapchat story? 
but you're like, I really want to see. So you watch it, but then you're like, dang it, they're going to see I watched it. So I know that they can't see I watched it, but I'm giving them a view. That bothers me. Anyways, I honestly can't say if what they do is real or fake. Um, I don't, I don't really know. But what I can say is that I feel like, um, I feel like they just go too far, if, if that makes sense. Um, so whether the pranks are real or fake, once again, I feel like they go too far. I feel like they do pranks that I would never in my life even think of doing. I've just given you guys a rundown of what I wouldn't think of doing. But it goes even further than that. Like even like the, what was it? Um... Oh, it was like a porn prank or something like that. Like, I was going to let you do a porn prank. I, uh, I just don't understand why that needs to be put out on YouTube. <laughs> I don't get it. I honestly don't. And then it's like the, the, the thumbnail is always so, like, sexual. And it's just like, why would you put your future wife, well, now wife, well, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're married or not. But why would you even subject her to being bent over, booty out for your 2 million subscribers to see? That just, I don't know. It's just, mm. but this is also the same girl who went online making a video for her 2 million subscribers to say why she, just how she feels about her husband's private part. And I was just like, is this, like when I seen that video, I promise you guys I was like this in itself is a prank when I seen that video I was just like this in itself is a prank like there's no way I would ever get on camera and talk like this like it wasn't ladylike like it just it was disrespectful and you know so yeah I could just never see myself making a video like that personally and then like <laughs> the wedding <laughs> Like, that wedding was seriously, I'm like, this in itself, once again, is a prank. Like, you cannot possibly tell me this is how your wedding guests actually showed up to your wedding. Like, you, you can't tell me. Like, I don't care how tacky you guys are. You can't tell me that this was real. But then in itself, I'm like, even if it was a prank, wouldn't you guys want us to, like, I don't know, feel like it's a wet? I don't know. Like... It's just so crazy, and I just never, I'd rather be super patient and gain my subscribers the genuine way than to lie and put my um, relationship on the line. Like, I just, I don't, I don't, oof, gosh, that's not hot, y'all, that's not hot. Like, it's just not okay. So, where I was pretty much going with this is that I do want to do cute couple videos, but maybe challenges or something like that. But I just, I can't get with the, the pranks. And I just had to get that out because sometimes I think I really get down on myself and I'm like, why am I not, you know, progressing on YouTube? Um, why are these people who are, you know, negatively showing their lives progressing? And I really had to just stop bring myself back and realize that what God has for me is for me and since I'm doing it my way I just may have to be a tad bit more patient so this wasn't a video to bash anyone no that's not that's not what we're here for I want to pretty much give my two cents on how I feel about pranks pretty much like that's what the video came down to yeah I don't know how it started but that's what it came down to is how I feel about pranks. So let me know what you guys feel about any of the um, channels that I talked about or pranks. Just, no, don't even let me know about, you. no, I want to know what y'all feel about the channel. <laughs> but let me definitely know how you guys, what you guys' takes are on pranks. Like, do you feel like it's, you know, an insecure, like you can tell me if you think I'm insecure because I don't want to do a prank. You can let me know if y'all think I'm insecure. But let me know if you guys think it's more like of an insecurity thing or if it's more like of a, yeah, girl, like you're right. Like, ain't no way I'm about to sit here and want to know how it is for my boyfriend to break up with me, divorce me, 
well, husband divorced me. Um, come in and see my best friend on my boyfriend's lap. It's a prank. Let me know how you guys feel about pranks and just about YouTube and where it's going with the whole couples thing. I just want to know you guys take because sometimes I sit back and watch and I'm like, am I being a hater or what? <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.